Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use MetaMask Wallet. So this is going to be a big beginner's tutorial. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So how do we actually create or basically start using MetaMask Wallet here? Well, it's actually fairly easy. So first things first is we need to install the extension itself on our browser. In this case, I'll be using Google Chrome. So let's open up Google Chrome here. Now in this case, we need to visit the Chrome extension store. So at the top right here, go ahead and click on the tree dotted icon. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to extensions. And whenever you hover it, you have two options. We have manage extensions and visit Chrome Web Store. Let's go ahead and click on the second one. Now from here, you should be able to see the Chrome Web Store here. So at the top right, go ahead and go to search extensions and teams. Just type in MetaMask and press on enter. Now you should be able to see MetaMask here and make sure the publisher is going to be MetaMask.io. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on Add to Chrome here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on Add Extension. Now in this case, it's going to actually initiate process of actually installing MetaMask into your browser. So this might take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on your internet connection as well as the speed of your PC. But in this case, once you've done that, it's going to say, let's get started. Now in this case, you first have to agree to MetaMask in terms of use. So let's go ahead and agree to it. But we is, it is actually recommended to read the terms of use first before actually agreeing to it. But for now, let's go ahead and click on create a new wallet. But also, if you already have a wallet from a different PC, you could actually import in, uh, import an existing wallet and you'll be able to basically import it on different ways. Like for example, using your seed phrase. Now, by the way, if you're not aware yet, MetaMask is only a wallet. It's not an exchange like Binance or Coinbase. So you'll only be able to actually store some cryptocurrency into your wallet here. But for now, let's go and click on create a wallet. Now from here, it's going to say, help us improve MetaMask. So it uh, says uh, MetaMask will always allow you to opt out via settings, send anonymized clicks and page view, uh, page view events, never collect information. They don't need to provide the service, such as keys, addresses, transaction hashes, or balance, never collect your full IP address and never sell your data, which is never. In this case, let's go and click on agree. Now from here, we need to enter a password that we wanna use for our wallet. So we need to have a at least minimum of eight characters here and a confirmation of it. They also need to uh, agree to understand MetaMask cannot recover this password for you. Now it is recommended that you remember this password or save it somewhere really, really safe. But for now, let's go ahead and enter our password here. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on create a new wallet. Now in this case, it's going to give you this short video here just to make sure that you understand that you need to secure your wallet. So you have two options here. You have the remind me later, not recommended, and secure my wallet, which is actually recommended. Now, with every wallet that you have on MetaMask here, you need to make sure that you secure your wallet, meaning you need to save your seed phrase. Now, seed phrases is a great way for you to recover your wallet uh, just in case you lose access on your PC. So in this case, once you click on secure my wallet here, it's going to redirect you to another section, which in this case, you'll be able to write down a 12 word secret phrase, recovery phrase for your account. So it, just in case you lose access on your uh, seed phrase or recovery phrase here, you'll be able to uh, basically secure your account. But for now, let's go ahead and click on reveal secret recovery phrase here for us to actually see it. Now, once you click on the reveal seed phrase here, you'll be able to see the seed phrases for your account. Now, it is recommended to write it, write it somewhere, save it on a Google Doc or somewhere. It's actually pretty secure. But for now, let's go ahead and click on copy to clipboard here and we'll be saving this in a document. Now, on the next page, it's going to say you need to confirm your recovery phrase, which in this case, you just need to indicate what is the meaning secure or uh, missing secu uh, secured recovery phrase here. So in this case, go ahead and type in whatever is missing here. So, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, once you complete that, it's going to say what well, creation successful. So let's go ahead and click on got it. Now, from here, it's going to say your MetaMask is on uh, MetaMask install is complete. Let's go ahead and click on next. And from here, your MetaMask install is complete. Though you could go ahead and click on done. Now, for you to access your uh, your specific assets here, you need to basically access the extension itself. So whenever you see this pop up here, you could either choose enable smart transactions here or not right now. But for now, I'm going to click on not right now. 
Now from here, you should be able to see your Chrome extension here, which is MetaMask. Now also alternatively, you can actually access this at the very top here. So let's go and click on our extensions here and click on MetaMask. Now you should be able to see the pop-up for MetaMask here, which in this case, just click on got it, got it. And from here, click on got it. Now it might give you some tips here on how to use it, but in this case, go ahead and just follow the uh, uh, pop-ups here or read through them just to make sure that you know everything here. But in this case, as you can see, we already have our wallet here. So how do we start using it? So in this case, you could basically start using it as is. Like for example, if you want to send crypto, swap for it, or bitch, or basically view your portfolio here, you could do it everything in here. But if you click on portfolio here, it should redirect you to the portfolio page here, which in this case, you'll be able to have a full view of your portfolio. In this case, the first thing you'll see here is going to be your dashboard. So a dashboard will contain all the general information about your account, like for example, buying crypto, sending crypto, and state crypto. Now we also have the explore page here, which in this case lets you explore on cryptocurrency, like the news right now, trending NFT mints, el eligible airdrops here, and features like partner tax providers, and a lot more. And also, you will be able to see some tokens here, like the trending tokens right now, which is currently as of this moment, it's going to be so TRB front and Solan, Sola. So Pola. So in this case, uh, if you visit the other sections here, like for example, buy, which in this case allows you to actually buy crypto. So in this case, you have the access to hundreds of tokens on 15 chains. So let's go ahead and click on get started. Now you first need to choose your location. So let's go ahead and choose our location here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to select a payment. Now, depending on the location that you'll be choosing here, you'll be able to get different payment methods. So for example, in the Philippines, you actually have Gcash here, which is a great way for you to start buying some crypto. Now you also have Maya, GrabPay, or the usual or the traditional one here, which is debit or credit. Now you also have the option to start selling here if you want to. By the way, uh, buying crypto here is actually pretty easy. Just click on continue indicate how much you want to buy so for example let's go and just continue that just need to indicate what you want to buy the cryptocurrency you want to buy and provide all the details required here now also you'll be able to see what's uh the current uh trading here so for example around 2751 philippine peso here is around 0.01 eth which is a lot now in this case let's go ahead and go to the sell section here but again if you want to continue, just click on connect MetaMask here and allow MetaMask to connect into your account and proceed to the payment. Now we also have the sell here. So you first need to actually have an account here. So in this case, some regions are not yet supported. So in this case, if your region is not supported, which is something really unfortunate, you need to change or make sure that your wallet on is another uh, region. Like for example, if you want to say United States of America, let's go ahead and use that so as an example. So let's go ahead and choose this one. And from here, you should be able to uh, see the sell section, which in this case, you'll be able to choose uh, the cryptocurrency here, which in this case is going to be Ethereum. Now we also have the swap here. By the way, you just need to choose how you want to receive your payout here. If you want to sell like people, transact and moon pay. They also have the swap here, which allows you to swap for your cryptocurrency for another like for example, swap from, you'll be able to choose it and swap to, you'll be able to swap your cryptocurrency from the name itself. Now we also have the bridge here, like for example, uh, if you want to bridge your tokens, so for example, from this network to this network and you send and you will be able to receive this specific token. Now, in this case, there's going to be some gas fees here and the actual amount that you need to actually use for you to make that transaction. Now, you all know that sending and receiving crypto actually requires you to enter the correct network. So again, it's really important that you choose the correct network. That's why they have bridge here to bridge your tokens and you'll be able to send to a different network. Now, we also have the stake here, which allows you to stake your cryptocurrency. We also have the send and receive section, which in this case, you'll be able to start receiving your um, crypto. Now, if you want to use this, you need to click on connect wallet here. It's going to pop up at the top right here. And from here, you just need to click on next and make sure that it's actually allowed. Now let's go ahead and proceed with connect here and it's going to say connecting and that should actually add our crypto wallet here on our portfolio. 
this case, you just need to enter the address that you want to send to, select the asset that you want to send. But in this case, you need to first have some uh, asset here and the amount that you'll be sending here. Just click on send to proceed and another pop up here should appear and you should be able to send some crypto. Now, if you want to receive crypto, go to receive here. It's going to show you your current uh, QR code or the address here. So if you want to copy your address, just click on copy address and send this to the uh, sender. But in this case, those are the beginner things that you need to know here to start using MetaMask and that's about it. So uh, hopefully this video was able to help you. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.